How's it going guys? John McTever here with the 2018 Harley Davidson Iron 1200. Today we want to show you how to change the oil on this bike. So before we get into it, let's show you exactly what kind of tools you're going to need for the job. Alright, so here's what you're going to need. Not very many things. Just a flathead screwdriver, socket wrench. This is an oil filter wrench and just an extension. So that's all you're going to need. So let's go ahead and start the job. So the first thing you're going to want to do is bring the bike up to operating temperature. You can either let it idle, go for a ride, whatever you need to do, but it does need to be at operating temperature. That's going to maximize the amount of oil that you're going to get out of the bike and it's going to speed up the drain time. So once that's happened, let's go ahead and go to the right side of the bike and do the first step. Okay, here we are on the right side of the bike. This is your oil tank. Here is your dipstick. You want to remove the dipstick so that the oil flows out smoothly. So what you're going to do, this is toolless. You press down, pops up, and then twist, and it just comes out. All right, let's go back to the left side of the bike and go to step number two. All right, here we are on the left side of the bike. We're gonna go ahead and start off by cracking the oil filter. Before we do that, you slide your oil catch on the bike. Common sense there. And you're gonna use your oil filter wrench, your socket wrench, and the extension. So we'll just crack it for now. Let that drain out. All right. We'll let that drain out for a little bit. Once that stops, we'll go to the drain plug for the oil. Okay, so we've got the oil filter cracked and that oil has uh, come to a stop. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the, uh, uh, the drain plug to get the rest of the oil out. Um, I know it's kind of, it all blends in, it's all black here, but your, uh, it's a hose with a plug in it right behind, below the left side cover right behind the primary. It's held together uh, up with a clip against the frame. So you're gonna remove the clip by hand. Just like the clips that hold the, the clutch to the frame up front. All right, and this is where the screwdriver comes into play. Because it's just a worm clamp, so you loosen it. down make sure you don't overshoot the catch and pull the plug all right so we're just gonna let that drain and then we'll go on to the next step all right with the oil drained out of the drain plug we're gonna go ahead and remove the oil filter all the way uh, before we do that you want to clean off um, the frame underneath and the engine mount uh, it basically just drains all over that stuff so uh, you want to use some kind of super cleaner brake cleaner um, yeah, I've always used PJ1 but there's plenty out there so you just want to go ahead and spray it uh, spray that all down wipe it down with some uh, rags uh, and then uh, remove the oil filter so let's spray this get this clean All right, with it cleaned off, we sprayed it. Um, you're gonna wanna just stick some, some rags underneath it because there's still gonna be a little bit more that comes out. Um, you can go ahead and spray it again after you remove it all the way. Um, so just put it out. So we're drained, let's go ahead and get to the next step. We're gonna start with uh, adding some oil to the oil filter. All right, we've got our new oil filter. And the reason you wanna add oil to this uh, new oil filter is so that on initial startup, it doesn't just pull in a big gulp of air. Uh, essentially meaning this is gonna help uh, build startup oil pressure. So you're just gonna add a little bit in there. And then there's a little bit right here. You also want to make sure that you get oil, new oil on this gasket. 
This is gonna help uh, when you go to remove it next time. If you don't do this, it can, it can get really, uh, really fused to the bracket on the bike and makes it a little difficult to get off. So go ahead and add a little bit of oil to that. And then we're gonna go ahead and install it. You do not use the oil filter wrench for installation. You're gonna thread this on by hand. Once the gasket makes contact to the bracket, you're gonna go uh, one half to three quarter turn more. And then that's it. So let's go ahead and get that done. All right, here we are back at the drain hose. We're gonna go ahead and reinstall the drain plug, tighten the worm clamp back down, and clamp the whole unit back to the frame. Super easy, just insert, screwdriver. Use your best judgment here. You do not wanna over tighten this, obviously. You could split the line. It's easy to test if you wanna be sure. I mean, it's not going anywhere. So, thread it back there, stands up, and just clip it right back to the frame exactly where it was last time. Just like that, out of the way. All right, so let's go ahead and finish it up and add the oil. All right, here we are, right side of the bike. Oil tank, gonna fill that up. We got the plug back in, the oil filter is back on and tightened and we have fluid in there. So initial fill calls for two quarts and then you're gonna start it up and do your final adjustment after that while it's warm. So let's go ahead and add the two quarts. All right, we got our initial two quarts in there so we're gonna reinsert the dipstick and then uh, fire it up, let it get hot and check for final adjustment, adding what we need as necessary. Again, you just start it in there, press back down, that's it. So don't forget, you need to start it up, get it warm and check your fluid level and add a little bit more if needed. Uh, and then you're all set. That's how you service uh, your 2018 Harley-Davidson Iron 1200. See you next time.